Hello everybody, Minecraft Nudist here, and I'm bringing you another video, yeah, it's been a while, because I've been busy as a bee, busy, 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 <laughs> yep, so this is how to make a game in Notepad, um, remade, yay, because uh, basically a lot of you guys were complaining, oh, after I answer that question, it closes up well uh we'll fix that by opening up notepad plus plus and not looking at all this random code and let's just get started shall we and i'm assuming if you watched my previous tutorials you know what i'm writing so i don't really have to explain it to you so right at echo off oh hang on a second language batch yep set to batch just make the title quiz game <laughs> okay then um, so let's make a menu menu hello or echo or no wait CLS echo well welcome to a quiz game. Yeah. Then we're gonna put a pause and all there. Like it, that's gonna be like an intro, sort of. So then we're gonna go ahead and make the actual thing now. So echo, echo dot, echo, echo. And I think we only need two options because there's really no. Now there isn't, so. Echo dot. So set it up like that. And then just say. Quiz game. And then one. And then two. And then go ahead and write start. And then for that, go right. Go right ahead and right angle it. Then set slash p to set the temporary variable we're about to set. So just name it input equals enter. Oh, sorry guys, it's a bit early in the morning. We're recording. Um. <laughs> Okay, so go ahead and write if percent. And I learned an efficient way of doing this, so this is going to be a new way that you learn this. Write if, then two quotation marks, a double equals, then two quotation marks again, and then go to start, is what we'll name it. And inside these parentheses, like right here, right here, you want to name, you want to put the number that you press in order to go to here. So what you're going to do is then in these parentheses right here is two percent signs and then input so then there it's a more efficient way of doing it for some reason I learned this from a buddy in coding it seems to be more efficient and it doesn't glitch out the system as much which is very interesting so now that you guys know that maybe that'll help you for future benefit or don't write go to on that one just copy this but don't put go to just write exit plain old exit and put the two and then again with uh, putting the temporary variable in there and there you go so you got your first basic interface called the menu so you don't need to write anything else just create a new cell script called start with a capital S yes pay attention to that um, 
So then we go see it. CLS, um, yep, so then go echo, or no, wait, let's just go set slash p name equals, please, Enter your name. And we'll do that. And then that person will enter in their name. And I'm going to test it. Just to prove that it works for me. I don't know if it might glitch out for some of you guys. Um, so then. We go ahead and. Uh, and we'll put. Or wait a minute, after I think you enter your name, then I can just say echo Oh, how about we said go to game And again, pay attention to the capital So then once we set that name, then we can go here into game By the way, that rhymes, hee <laughs> hee Okay, so then we can go ahead and say echo after writing uh, the clear screen command. So echo hello percent name. So then we just put the variable hello for in my case hello Wyatt. So then. Uh, Hmm, let's see what we do right after that. You are starting a game. So, uh, <laughs> so let's see here. Let's see. You are starting a game, so sit down. And relax. We're going to put a pause command. We're just going to make that null because we want everything to look all nice and clean. And uh, so then after that, we're going to have... CLS, Echo, your first question, just to make it sound funny, even though I know how to spell question, I spelled it like that, just to sound funny, and, hmm, Okay, so then we'll write another pause. Null. Put a space there. And now let's actually get to work on our first question. Um, your first um, question. Is dot 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 echo dot echo what is Minecraft nudist name? So that seems like a fairly good question, don't you think? So then, echo, 
echo, echo. So then we're going to have four answers for that. So one, two, three, four. Number one, Wyatt. Number two, Alex. Number three, Blah. And number four, Steve. <laughs> so, yeah. Which one is it? Well, I'm gonna tell you. But, you really, you can answer any question you want into here. So, you could say, oh, what's my birthday? Or, what, did, what time did World War II start? Or, how long did the cold wear last? Or, uh, when was the first nuclear bomb detonated? Or something like that. I don't know. There's many things you can do. Let's actually go up here and put a dot there. Um. And then here's where you're going to enter it. So slash P. Input equals. Enter. And so you have that. That's where we're going to start writing variables again, so. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write it out. And I'm just going to copy it four times. So one, and two, and three, and four. So then we'll put input and we'll just copy that. So bloop, 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 and there you go. So then go, go to, go to, go to. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> go to, go to. Okay, so now that you have written all of your go tos. <laughs> We'll see which one is correct, so then we'll just say correct one, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Okay, so since you have all that, now we got to make the actual wrongs and rights. So let's go ahead and make that make that cell script. Correct one. And make wrong one. And in here we're gonna write you got it right. Good job. And then we'll go pause null and then go Go to level two. Oh, and that reminds me, maybe we should change this name to level one. Engine change this back to level one. So then there, we got level one. Okay, and so since you got all that, you basically just copy this, put it in the wrong. put it in this uh, wrong one cell script so then we'll put one and we're not going to congratulate you for getting it wrong nah we don't need that face 
got it wrong, buddy. And then you go back to level one. And, uh, yeah, and basically what you do is you just copy all this and change some numbers around. And then you get, uh, oh, jeez. You can keep adding, um, questions. But I'm just going to do it real quick for you because sometimes you're confused about that. So go, go ahead and copy. We'll paste that all again, except we'll name this level two. And we'll remove all of this. And we're going to say second. And we're going to come up with a different one after we change all these variables. So correct, correct two, correct, uh, or wrong two, wrong two, wrong two. So then we're going to name these back to, and then we'll go on to level three, and this will go back to level two. And, uh, you pretty much get it, let's just change the question, what is... one plus one and in this case you can actually ch change these around so so then wrong two and correct two And once you got that, one plus one, so you can go ahead and put two. Oh. And one hundred. I don't know. Or four. And I think y'all know the answer to that. What is one plus one? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so then let's go ahead and make the level three thing real quick. And instead of making a new a whole new question and putting up a bunch of time on this video, we're gonna go ahead and just say CLS Echo Great Game Echo dot Echo Bye bye. And we're just going to go pause, make that null, then we're going to e enter exit. So when you guys say, oh, after I do this, it exits out. Well, that's the whole thing. Unless you want it to go back to the menu. So I just say go to menu, menu, menu. So now that you got that, then just restart the game over and over and over again. So this is the whole game. I will put the coding in the description. And I will see you guys next time in what I think it's going to be how to do a... Uh, oh, oh, man, I'm tired. Okay. How to do a batch RPG in Notepad. Remade! Yeah, and there's going to be several parts to it considering that it's going to take forever. So, yep. Uh, oh, and one quick thing. Go ahead and go to File, Save As, mm -hmm. Save As whatever you want. Blah, 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 blah. And make sure it's a batch file in this case. Or for you guys, you'd say All Types. Oh. You go to All Types and then type dot .bat. And then you saved your thing as a dot .bat. So, this has been... How to make a game in Notepad Remade, and I will see you guys next time.